We've driven 30 odd miles yeah. to the Moorcock Inn, uh, east of Sedborough, and we're walking from the Moorcock Inn to Hell Gill. Now the Moorcock Inn is a pleasing sort of place. It serves black sheep beers. You've been checking that out already then. And you? it's not open till 4.30. Oh. So oh. our post-walk drink mm. is postponed. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're going to walk north, uh, northwest and then back southeast on a very narrow trajectory, a bit like an arrowhead. Yeah. And um, that's that. We're following the river something or other. Well, it says the Ewer, could be the Ewer, the River Ewer. There you are. Oh. The River Ewer is famous because it appears in a lot of crosswords. Because oh. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of words ending U-R-E. Oh. And um, so we're following the River Ewer. Yeah. Uh, well, roughly anyway. <laughs> and then we're coming back on the highway. We are in Yorkshire, but, you know, needs must. <laughs> All right, thank right. you. Come on. No, 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 no. I've given a bit to come on. Yeah. You're, just doing, you're just doing a nice bit while the camera's running out. <laughs> Morning, men. Morning. All right. So Keith told us where we're going and we've just, as you see, set off down the road just a short way and then off into the fields. And this is the first bridge we come across so it's a good place to have a, a group picture. So here we go. John the right hand man is putting it so we can all be in the picture. Thank you John. Very good. Off we go. There's water coming down there. And that's where we're parked and so how far we've gone up to now. That's the viaduct of the Morkoff. With a bit of luck we might see the train today as well. It's Wednesday and it's a settled Carlisle line so we, we might see it. So we'll see how we go. But on we go. And this property has been uh, done up for rented accommodation. Oh, a nice horse there. Oops, yeah, yeah. Sheep seen us and on the move. <laughs> so I've just gone round that farmyard and on we go. And this grass is very long. There doesn't seem to be. We're on the footpath. Oh dear. Oh dear. One of the men's down. Oh, we'll have to help Keith up. No, he don't want any help. He'll get himself up, he says. Oh, it's certainly bad of these paths. We're certainly on the path, but it's obviously not been walked for a long time. Oh, this is a, a churchyard and a, and a church, but the church obviously isn't used now. I'm just going to show you a picture inside. It's just completely empty, just the pew at the back. And the way I'm facing was where the, uh, where the pulpit would have been. Oh, but this is going to be our 11s is now. So I'm going to just have a bit of a break. And sit amongst the sheep. Now Bernard's had the day off today. His, his leg's not so good, so... Keith took charge of the walk and doing a good job for us. A 
A nice trailer there for us to have a brew on, so we'll rest our cups. But we can't stay here all day, we're going to have to get going again. So, on we go. A lot of wild flowers in these fields and Eddie, one of the uh, ramblers, is telling us that uh, the farmers, they get a subsidy for leaving the wildflowers until after July, I think, 21st, I think he said, and then they can cut it. So I think this is hence why the, uh, the fields are so bad. And it's undulating ground, so it's, it's hard to see just where you're putting your feet. Oh, here's the train. Marvellous, we caught it. Carlisle Wednesday Traveller. I think they have about three hours in Carlisle when they get there. And put the diesel train on the back to provide the electrics for the carriages and the, the cooking and what have you. And the uh, steam engine just pulling it. Nice one, it's subtle there. Huh? Oh, some uh, bikers here. We might meet them later, I don't know. They seem to be going the way we're going to be going. The farmer's just cutting his fields there. It's a long way off. I'm just zoomed in on my camera. As you can see, it's like a jungle going through here. get a few streams running through it as well that we found and uh, just have to watch for them you know get the flies off the legs as well I think we're going through this uh, long grass you know we're sort of picking them all up on us lovely views when you look across very nice Looking across the Howe Girls. Oh, we've hit a, a proper path now, and uh, this is a, a, a like a waterfall way, way down around this area. So, can't see a way to get down to it, so I'm stopping here just on the top and uh, have to forego that. Oh, here they come, they're coming back. So this is our dinner time stop. And dinner time over. Just walk a little way down the lane we just came on and here we are turning off now. And this is for the high road now. Not sure whether that's part of the river Ure. running into it I think eventually. So we're making our way up now. Nice hearing that water running by. Quite a way down. Oh, property with slight attention needed. So, hi, Albert Side. So, off we go again. I just waited till I catch them up, and I managed to get in front, so. I'll catch them all setting off again. Of course that puts the bee at the back again then, but not to worry. At least I'm not holding anybody up. Oh, just looking back down again at the farmer there. Looks like he's finishing for the day, he's getting out of his cab. 
and gets into the other one and away they drive. Oh, another group picture here. This is a, a river that's dry, but I uh, thought, oh, let's stand on this bridge. Get Eddie to do the, the honours again. So it could all be in it. Not Eddie, sorry, John. There he comes. Thank you, John. That's looking back over the Moorcock Viaduct there. And that's where the cars are parked, way, way over there. Not that bit, higher up. It's hard to find things when you zoom in, in a bit. There, there we are. That's where the cars are parked. So we have a, a bit of a way to go yet, but uh, we're well on our way back. And lovely weather. Gonna have a bit of a sunburn on us when we get back, even though we have put the cream on. A bit of a pull up here. Just have to take my time and we'll get there eventually. Oh, some planes going over. So, we're having a bit of a break here now. And I'm not sorry about that. There's a farmer or a man with his dog and they, the dog's worried about all these flies that keep coming around. And the, the chap he was saying is because they're cutting all the grass and all the flies are, are, are setting off and landing on everybody. Poor old Mike there, they still seem to be landing mainly on him. There's an old... Uh, Lime kiln there. Oh, and that uh, it was, it was the old uh, hotel uh, down by the railway, um, Eddie was telling us. So I just zoomed in on that. But that, that bit of railway is not there now. So we're making our way down now. Um, cutting his, well, collecting his grass that he's already cut. Just the weather for doing it for him, nice and warm. So it'll all be dry and then he'll push that bale out at the end. Down we go. It's a long way down. I think it was over a mile coming downhill all the time. I can manage this quite nicely. It's the going up that I struggle with. So we were going to go into the Moorcock for a for a drink afterwards, but uh, as uh, Keith said, it doesn't open till half past four, and it's only three o'clock now, so I think we've, uh, we've missed some trade there, which is a shame, it's a shame for us as well. So we're back on the same route that we set off this morning now. We have a bit of picture taken all this morning. Oh, just another quick look 
Talk of the Scenery. So, hope you've enjoyed your time with us. And we'll finish off with Roy's little clip that he makes on this real life and uh, real live. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. So, it's bye for now. <laughs>